A necessary condition of winemaking is access to grapes. Without grapes, a winemaker's plan for the perfect Pinot dies on the vine. A condition is an event that must or mustn't occur before parties perform their contractual duties. In Merritt Hill Vineyards versus Windy Heights Vineyard, both parties to a vineyard sale agreement were told to put a cork in it. Windy Heights Vineyard entered into a written contract to sell a vineyard to Merritt Hill Vineyards. Upon signing, Merritt gave Windy a $15,000 deposit. One section of the contract was titled, Conditions Precedent to Purchaser's Obligation to Close. This section made Windy's closing obligation subject to certain requirements. If Windy or Merritt didn't satisfy certain conditions, Windy would return Merritt's deposit. One condition for Windy was securing a title insurance policy and submitting a mortgage confirmation. If either or both didn't occur, Windy couldn't keep Merritt's deposit. The conditions section didn't contain a damages provision. At closing, Merritt learned that Windy hadn't secured the insurance policy or mortgage confirmation. Merritt walked away from the deal and demanded the deposit back. Windy dismissed Merritt's demand as sour grapes. Merritt filed two claims against Windy in a New York trial court. Merritt's first claim was an action to recover the deposit. Merritt's second claim was an action to recover $26,000 in consequential damages, allegedly resulting from Windy's failure to meet the contract's terms. Merritt then filed two motions for summary judgment, and the trial court denied both. The intermediate appellate court reversed, granting Merritt's motion regarding the deposit return and denying the motion regarding consequential damages. Both parties appealed to the New York Court of Appeals.